didn't think it was possible, but the road to SummerSlam keeps getting hotter and hotter, adding explosive twists and turns every week. And incredible athletes like Japanese phenom Chosen, who's suiting up alongside the former Lock tonight in one of the most anticipated War Games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All's fair in love and war games, Saxton. Both foursomes are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match's stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. Oh, man, he took a hard landing into the other ring. Shot right to the kidney, oh. and again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Trap the arm, coming to the neck breaker. And he is now in a discouraging spot. He can't just think of riding this out. He has to get an offense. Oh my goodness, they're striking at will. Countdown underway, the odds about to no longer be even. He deflects it right back. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. And we just saw some serious offense. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Through the ring door and adding a bit of leverage to the situation. Heading up, he's thinking back. High risk. Got to find a way to get out of this. Textbook scoop slam. Measured elbow drop driven down. Tilt the world into the arm drag. leaving no breathing room. Things are really going his way now. And seconds left before the odds are evened here. Better make your way into the bedlam quickly. Your team needs you. A oh, jumping stop to the gut. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Ooh. Going right after the neck. No time for fear. Just get in there and engage with the enemy. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Slaying able to adapt. Ooh, jarring European uppercut. Bad predicament right here. Oh my goodness. Oh, right to the throat. Omar is absolutely asserting a towering presence here. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. He went right into that turn. And did you hear the impact of that? Now, tracking the opposition. Enough already. And I can see some blood coming from the face of Slade. Stop after stop after stop. That's how you wear down your opponent. Not where you want to be right now. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Okay, beautiful. We've got a numbers advantage incoming as the countdown is about to run out. This is a fucking look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Punishing impact. Up. Time to flip the ball switch. Oh man, will come back from that. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal. There it is. 
He's already bringing the numbers advantage, but he wants something more. Oh, nasty stop to finish it off. There he is! That was a hell of an over there, guys. The Rock has this wrapped up. The Rock with some good timing here. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Entering the ring and assessing the situation. Headbutt to the groin. That was low. Ooh, bullseye. Relentless. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Oh, the mist! The mist! They're blind! Blind by Irana. Beautiful. He was elusive there. Oh, look at this. Neck lock into it. Clock counting down. A sigh of relief can surely be breathed once the next competitor enters. some force on that move. Oh, man. Snap suplex. Even in the teams and looking under the ring for a little extra insurance. Starting to scale up the War Games wall. He's got something in mind. Clearly knows the damage that has been done with the opposing team's numbers advantage and knows that bringing in a weapon can be the ultimate... No, 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 no! Arena. No, press and the piston like right hands. Brutality. Oh my lord. Through the table. Racist maneuver. Driving him through the table. Just goes to show you the amount of animosity that has flooded this matchup. Oh, elbow to face. He's getting. Time to flip it. Oh, switch. Feeling like it's over for Breaker. Catching a drop kick. Suplex. Suplex brings it down. 
And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam, and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, uh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. All right. Have you decided what type of match you're going to pick? Because I was thinking... You should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you had in your WWE debut. Everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm not sure. Well... If you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen, and drinks are on me. I'm going with Chosen, and not for the free drinks. I've had all the momentum since he came in, and I want to keep that going at SummerSlam. I'll be out there with you in spirit. And speaking of spirits, I'm going to collect my pool money and hit the pub. I'll save you a seat. It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like, you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town, and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? Not at all. Despite my recent success, I'm going to need to do everything I can to win. So, I've been keeping the match stipulation to myself as a strategic advantage. Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you need an answer, it's going to be an Extreme Rules match. I don't want any restrictions stopping me from doing whatever I need to do to beat Slade, win the championship, and hang on to my job. Solid choice. And if this is it, well... It's been fun, and weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah, you too, Kat. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, the Lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure, 
and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. <sighs> Understood. No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over, but now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night the lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place? Or more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately. Losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, 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 he, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. Two, and Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. You did the right thing. Look, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game plan to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion. SummerSlam is all led to one of the most anticipated matches in WWE history. Randy Orton versus his former protege in an extreme rules match for the WWE Championship. But it's more than that, Cole. It's a match between a superstar who left WWE to find himself and came back to win a championship and a living legend looking to cement his legacy as one of WWE's all-time greats. Shawn Michaels, who has as much to lose tonight as anyone. 
No matter how you look at it, this one's huge, and it's all happening right now. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. The Viper is facing a bit of danger here. He needs to return to his instincts. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Butterfly DDT. The champ now absorbing a little damage. Flying Marana. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. And he has free reign to the outside with no count-ups to worry about. He'll head to the ring. Oh, efficient offense leaving no breathing room. He is getting fired up here. He foiled that attempt. Oh, I handled the counter. the strike and he counters with the headlock backbreaker vintage randy orton orton's clearly in control now it looks like he's trying for a top rope hung ddt his opponent's doing everything he can to counter and here comes Shawn michaels with the assist but Shawn gets taken out and now the challenger has an opening Orton charges. Drop to hold into the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like they'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one-on-one. -on -one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. Okay, oh, I'm Randy Orton. What the hell? Did that just happen? Apparently, Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. Flying by Arana. Beautiful. The Viper in bad shape here. This can't be how Randy Orton envisioned this match going. Heads out of the ring. What's next? And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Returning to the ring now. Boom! Kendo stick to the skull. Ooh, man. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. And you can tell there are cruel cool intentions in mind right now. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. thrown around out here. Yeah, now he has to devise a way back into this. No, oh, no, their eyes, their eyes. Oh, pump right in the face. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. The champ teetering on the edge. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Randy Orton is slipping, but he still might have an RKO in his back pocket. Oh, he knew what was coming. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. The challenger stays alive. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Counters the Viper's attack. He's been concentrated on that area throughout this one. He knows every blow there weakens his opposition more each time. And he goes into the ring. <laughs> oh, Kendo stick wrapped around the head. Can Orton withstand this attack? And Orton needs to bring the match back to his pace. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. Still seems so fresh. It's almost unbelievable. Oh. 
And again, we see attention placed on taking out the leg. He's taking this to the floor now. Oh, boy, to the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah, going to clean it off here. This is going to be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Oh, God. Oh, he has got something destructive in his mind. Caught with a punch. Able to interrupt the attack. Driven into the barricade. Can Orton withstand this attack? Looks like Orton's struggling. Puts him on the table. What does he have in mind? We're about to find out. Uh-oh. <laughs> the table is scattered in pieces. What a mess. Now draping his opponent over the announce desk. We're going to finish things off right now. This will do it. Through the table. This may have gone too far. Look at this chaos. This is pure destruction. I can barely imagine the damage that the impact caused. I mean, look at what it did to our table. He connected right on the jaw. Oh, Randy Orton, the X Predator. A Viper looking unstoppable. Thank you, Jordan. Uh, this right here is vintage Randy Orton stomp. Orton kicking his butt. Pin attack for the championship. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. champion, but he beat the dead ride and is a 
officially here to stay. Not to interrupt the victory celebration, but Shawn Michaels is back. Maybe to do that exact thing. It's over. You lost. Just give the man his due for once. That looks to be a small sign of respect for Michaels to the new champ. Maybe they can finally put all this behind them and move on. Much of the criticism he faced earlier in his career centered around his inability to work with others. So it was fitting that tonight it came down to just him and Orton in the ring. One on one. No one else to rely on but himself. What the heck? That's Sami Zayn! The new champion was just blindsided with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Is Sami cashing in? He is! It's official! We have a second impromptu WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. I can't believe this is happening. He beat the deadline, but he might not walk out of here champion. Everybody, because we might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history and one of the craziest summer plans of all time. Sami Zayn has shocked not only the brand new WWE Champion, but he's shaken the WWE Universe to its core. Myself included. Could somebody please pick my jaw up off the floor so I can call this match? You're on your own, Corey. It's Sami Zayn versus the... Irish whip, but Sammy reverses. Oh, the newly minted champion hit hard. And Sammy Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Haluva kick. This could be it. He moved. He dodged the Haluva kick. With the roll up. Two, three, that will do it. He successfully defended his WWE Championship after Sammy Zayn's shocking cash in. Sammy Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sammy. Thanks for coming out. And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion. But for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known. He may also be looking for redemption. But for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Is he stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long, but even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they force their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do. And I respect that. I really do. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't actually recording yet. Do you mind saying all of that again?